Students with a desire to study engineering can now earn a four-year degree with a specialization in computer, aerospace, mechanical, and electrical engineering right here on the beautiful campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The correct word is joyful about my new engineering program. You get to love these students, you get to know them, you get to know their goals and ambitions. I'm particularly excited about the aerospace, the aeronautical side of our program because that's a budding industry on the Eastern Shore and all across America and so it means that the students who come here and study engineering will have exposure to the different areas around Wallops Island and other places so that they can go out and do well. Send us your children, we will take care of them and we will protect them and we know how to guide them. Our students will embark on a new venture in engineering. Engineering is a fantastic field. Students learn not only valuable classroom skills, but also gain exposure to highly evolved corporations and even push the boundaries of reality. An on-campus 3D imaging lab known as the CAVE allows students to manipulate virtual worlds, and a new flight simulator gives students the opportunity to put their aviation skills to the test. UMES is proud to produce marketable grads who contribute to society by solving relevant problems. One of the debate is going on to bring a foreign engineer from the foreign country, and as you know about that one, we do have a shortage, and especially we do have a shortage for engineers who are minority, and there's a big shortage that we cannot supply as, you know, as the needs are there for them. Students in the program receive a well-rounded look at engineering applications. One example benefits agriculture. So on the combine, when it is harvesting crops, right? In the past, there was no documentation. You harvested the crops, took it in a way wagon, and measured it. So you would say, okay, this field gave us a yield of so many bushels. Okay? But now we have the technology where we are putting a GPS unit on the combine as well as a yield sensor on the combine. So what is happening is, as the combine is moving and harvesting, right, it knows exactly how much corn came out from this location, how much corn came out from this location. So you have a special distribution map of the yield of the entire field. UMES future engineers have access to engineering firms, and Hawk students are a valuable addition to the workforce. The addition of the engineering program at uh, University of Maryland Eastern Shore is a very positive uh, component for the, uh, for the region. We have a number of manufacturing firms, electronic firms, and aerospace corporations within the region. Uh, and the university is committed to uh, serving the workforce needs of each of these, uh, these entities. One example of a business that supports the UMES engineering program is Maytech, a manufacturing company that employs design, mechanical, and robotics engineers, among others. This uh, program for us is vital. That's why we've been a very big supporter of this program. There's nothing that we have, do, touch that is not being touched by an engineer in some way, shape, or form. Technology at Maytech includes a machine called the Intelliject. Created for the poultry industry, it vaccinates eggs in the hatcheries during the incubation stage and as a faster, simpler alternative to using hands alone, transfers 40,000 eggs per hour. In partnership with UMES, this is just the type of advanced technology that our students can be exposed to. The benefits are tremendous uh, because they, uh, the engineers can get the exposure that they need, the, the experience that they need before they, uh, during their, their, their location. Uh, they're certainly welcome to participate and, and, and do internships. Another place where engineers are in demand is nearby Wallops Flight Facility. We were able to uh, secure launch pads, uh, two launch pads and launch towers, uh, new ones to be built down at Wallops. Uh, as a result of that, we're going to see uh, a lot of demand for the engineers. It takes a lot of engineers, technicians, skilled people to make this happen. Engineering majors also benefit from community support to have another option for engineering students here in Maryland. We have a lot of organizations, as you know, um, trying hard, working hard to attract technical, clean industry 
to the Eastern Shore. The jobs will be here with the UMES program. We'll be able to educate our kids and not have them go away for those last two years. And on campus, there's a buzz of excitement from the students. I'm extremely happy because I've been here since freshman year and the first, at first it was you do two years here and then you do two years at College Park. I would actually just um, like to learn the skills that you need to be a successful mechanical engineer. Actually, I'm uh, really ecstatic. Basically what I learned, what I want to learn is electrical, but I'd like to do a little mechanical if I get a chance to. The faculty all have been um, nice since I've been here. I've been here three years. They've, they've all been accessible outside of the classroom, and they've all have a good demeanor as far as wanting to help the student, knowing that they're here to assist us in graduating on time. First impression of teachers, great. You know, they're nice. They're just helpful, always wanting to do what you, know, you need, need to get done. My first summer here, I was able to do a project with robotics. We actually built a robot, and we actually won the competition. It was the first year UMES showed up, and our first year there, we, we took it all home. We won first place. We want to recruit students from all over. We want to make sure that students here get the best engineering education possible so they can provide service to the citizens of this state, the nation, and the world. The University of Maryland Eastern Shore Engineering Program, Maryland's newest force in an ever-changing technological world.